I'm going to make a really cute T-Rex dinosaur believe door hanger for a little boy or a little girl who loves dinosaurs to put in their room or on their door. And I bought this circle at the Dollar Tree. It has hello on one side. We're just gonna disregard that. We're going to be using this side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the string off, but I'm gonna keep it in case I wanna use that versus a colored ribbon. I'm going to be using this when I paint, but I don't want to get dust on it now, so I'm going to move that to the side. Then I'm just going to sand it gently. It's pretty smooth, but I just want to sand it a little bit more, and I'm going to sand with the grain and then on the edges. And then I'm just going to really quickly kind of go on the very edge from the front to the edge so that it's not sharp. So now it's really smooth, but it's also dusty. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna really wipe that down, get the dust off because I don't want the paint to just be dusty. I want the paint to stick to the wood. All right, so I have the dust off of the wood. It's now on the table, so we're gonna clean that off real quick. This is just a um, pizza pan, pizza tray that I got from the Dollar Tree that I like to use when I'm painting, especially for a circle this side, it's, it's perfect to protect my workspace. And then I just have some white craft paint. Shake that up. And I'm gonna just put a little bit right on there and smooth it around. And then I have more if I need more. And I'm just gonna coat the whole front and the sides. And I kind of paint any direction, and then at the end, I'll make sure all the strokes are going the same as the grain. Okay, we're gonna leave that to dry and get the vinyl ready for the design. I cut this out, the, the different pieces out of the Merry Made glitter vinyl. They sent this to me to try, and I really do love it. So let's just weed the pieces out. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see where the little pieces are with glitter, and that's with any kind of glitter. So you just kind of angle it with the light so you make sure you get the right part taken off. All right, so now we have all the parts. We're gonna have a lime green T-Rex with the wreath and believe on the bottom. Now we're just gonna wait for that paint to dry. And then we can put this together. Now that my painted board is dry, we're going to put the glitter heat transfer vinyl from Mary Made onto there to make our sign. I'm going to be using my Cricut Mini Press, Easy Press Mini, so I'm gonna Turn it on to medium. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of eyeball exactly where this is going to go. When I put it on here. Oh, had that upside down, okay. So the wreath goes around the top and you can kind of see there's a spot where his, where the T-Rex's head and it goes right through there. And, you, and this is gonna be down a little bit from the hole where the ribbon is gonna go. And then you need to make sure you have room for the believe on the bottom, because that's a bit wider. So I'm gonna place that down there. Okay, make sure we're gonna be good to go there. We'll see. Okay, so I, need, I know that I need to put the believe as close to this edge as possible. I thought I was gonna have a little more leeway than I actually do, but it's still gonna work. So first, I'm just gonna heat the wood a teeny bit. Then I'm gonna place this down. I can feel that it's a little bit warm. Put the Teflon over there, and then I'm going to hold down for about 10 seconds. Don't move the heat press because if you move it, you might slide the heat transfer vinyl under there and we do not want it sliding 
or warping or making weird edges. So I'm just gonna go over it once. Now I'm gonna see if that is sticking. Nope, not enough. Probably didn't get on those very edges well long enough. And it's always better to heat and have it not quite sticking and then apply more heat than to overheat it because if you overheat it, your vinyl starts to shrink and then you get these weird glossy spots around it, kind of where the adhesive is for this heat transfer. And then you're starting over. So it's better to err on the side of caution. All right, so now that's peeling up nicely. Okay, step one. Now we're gonna put T-Rex, and I remember his foot was gonna be right by that E, but before I place him down, I'm gonna just double check that this is gonna work, and it's not gonna hit that hole. I kinda like his foot overlapping the E and the V a little bit. Place that down, and now I'm just gonna do the same thing. Teflon over, and then I'm going to heat and then lift and move. That is the most important part. And I could have used a bigger, like the Easy Press, that's like the nine by nine, but I just decided to use this little one because it's a lot of little pieces that we're doing here. Now I'm going to line up the wreath. See how that's not quite lined up here? So you're just gonna twist it until you get a nice outline of the wood coming through around through the body and up here. So one thing I am noticing is, okay, that is gonna come off, is that some of the, the glitter that was outside of where we cut is really kind of sticking, but it looks like we're gonna be able to get that off. But in case we can't, I am going to trim this smaller and closer to the bow because there is, you can see, a bit of glitter and I don't want that all over. Whoops. So I'm going to use these um, nonstick scissors. Love them if you don't have them. They're great for anything sticky because the sticky doesn't stick to them so they don't get all gummed up like if you use regular scissors. I'm just going to trim around this bow and avoid having to deal with that extra glitter when we're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna position that so we have, see, the edges kind of lining up. Everything's just kind of cut out around it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. What dinosaur lover is not going to love this sparkly little thing? But wait, there's more this back out. Now we're going to add some more bling to the outside to just really finish this off. I'm going to use my hot glue gun. I just got this um, cordless hot glue gun. Love that. There will be a link below the video to find that. So I'm going to take two different kinds of trim and I'm going to glue it to the bottom so that it goes all the way around Gonna look like that. Now, if you're using this size uh, wrap circle, which is, I believe, eight and a half inches, let's double check. Yep, it's an eight and a half inch round. You're going to need about 26, 26 to 28 inches, just so you have a little bit of extra of this trim to go all the way around. And then I'm going to start at the top because you're going to have a bow or this string coming out as a hanger so you won't notice the top as much. So I just do little bits at a time so that the glue doesn't harden before I get to it. I'm just gonna glue this all the way around the circle. And then when you get back to the top, you're just gonna trim so it matches up. So you can't really tell where it starts and ends from the front. So there's the first row. And now I'm gonna put the green. I'm gonna 
let's see. So I need to do the green right on top of the red part so that the green balls are out far enough. Just wanna double check that stuff before you start gluing. All right, and again, we're just going to trim after we meet up. Look how cute that is. It just, have, adding that trim just really makes it that much more festive. Then we can either use the twine that came with the wood, but I think we need something a little bit more special there. So I'm gonna grab some ribbon. All right, so I just grabbed some ribbon that I got at a craft store and I'm gonna go with gold to pull into the gold from the Believe. I'm just gonna put it through that hole before I cut it. It's gonna come right off and then I'm just gonna decide how long I want it to be. So if it was gonna hang on a doorknob, you would need your hanger to be a lot longer. So just decide how and where you're going to hang it. Let's say I'm gonna put it on a doorknob. I'm gonna make it nice and long. Maybe let's add a couple jingle bells. Because why not? More is more on these projects, right? Not the best size ribbon for a jingle bell, but I don't know. I'm committed now. a couple on there. Oh yeah, it's cute. Kind of covers the hole too. And we'll just knot that and it's done. All right, so this is using one of the designs from my Dinosaur for Christmas cut file bundle, which you can use with your cutting machines. Dollar Tree wood, jingle bells from the Dollar Tree, some trim, paint, easy. And wow, some child is going to love this.